Hey guys, and welcome to another live stream for Shadow Era. Today is going to be a Hero Spotlight Day. If you watched the previous stream, uh, last time we were playing this Shaven, we did pretty well. Made it to level 3. Um, progress through the campaign. This is actually the second map. First map, we did all the 1 stars, got a few normal difficulties. Unlock the second map. We bought a few new cards. Overall, it was a pretty good challenge. The AI seemed to play fairly well. Kicked my butt a few times, had to adjust my strategy, but in the end, we did alright. So, today, I had enough uh, gold. I think what I'm going to do is switch heroes. The easiest thing to do, of course, is if you start off with one class is to play the other hero of that class because you have most of the cards that you need already so it's easy to start heroes cost 200 gold i have 220. let's go ahead and buy that hero now if i actually have to clear it because i don't have it saved because i didn't buy the starter deck so now we'll start with this hero. I should mention that I got some heroes in the three, three packs that I had before, so I could have chose this, but I don't have any priest cards, don't have any woven cards, so I probably can't start with those yet. So I'm just going to continue with it with Aladwin. I'm just going to make a quick deck. My first foil. I got that from unlocking a chest on the campaign map. Fireballs. Maybe two of those. This came in handy. Let's see. Kind of want a weapon. Not sure who I'm going to be against, so I'm just going to. A simple 40 card deck we're gonna save that all right the thing about shadow era is that each hero has their own campaign missions let me see here i didn't actually see where that started oh, that's way up at the top that is a bug that was like the second map or something I have to note that. Maybe I can fix that. If I had a hero on the second map, I changed to this hero on the first map. It wasn't positioned properly. So we're just gonna... So we start from the beginning with her. It's five, six turns. Pretty sure I could survive six turns. Human, I come to warn you of great peril and bestow upon you a quest. Oh, now it's Aladrin before I was initiated. Have you finally decided to speak? I'll admit I was curious why you were watching me, but that's the only reason you're still breathing. Well, I think we should both be thankful of that. The peril I speak of is real. It concerns your crystal. My crystal? You have been watching closely. Very closely. I saw you found it. I saw you find it. I saw that. I saw what you did with it. I saw you need some guidance, which is why I am here. How could you possibly guide me? I think you greatly underestimate me, Eladrin. I know a great deal more than you about Baylor and that crystal. Did you know we're about to be attacked? I knew that. Survive six turns. If you didn't see the previous streams, uh, again, I'll mention that one of the quick uh, fixes that I made for next version is that by default there's going to be a playmat in play. 
So no longer will the AI always be playing sort of just hanging off in space. It's going to be a default playmat even if you don't have one assigned in your deck. I'm not going to read all the dialogue, we'll just skip that for now. <laughs> So last time we had problems with these spiders because if you have equal or greater uh, resources they're not going to be able to attack you as soon as they're summoned. Well since one is already in play I'm thinking they must have more. So I have to watch out on my resources. I don't want to sort of skip it this early. I need, I should get at least two or three, probably three and then I could skip one. I also want to start getting board control just so that I could survive for six turns. See, there it is. I noticed that it was pink. Unity sometimes has a problem where the first time an effect is used, it shows up as pink. I haven't seen that in the live game, but normally it's just in the editor. But I just saw it in this build, so I'm going to have to take a look at that as well. This is um, obviously not the live version, it's actually a previous version that I've been working on. Let's just take a look at Elodon's ability. I can't use it yet because I'm not generating Shadow Energy. It's very different than this Shaven. So this Shaven is kind of like a last resort, it will uh, damage all the allies in play. Elodon is more control. She's going to damage an opposing alley for four and make it frozen for two turns. Wondering if what I did yesterday in the dev days with um, updating those the highlights might have done something. I think maybe I left something. Yeah. You're seeing that it's not doing the proper highlight. Not sure if I want to continue the whole stream with it with it looking like that. Or maybe I can go and fix it quickly. Uh, but anyways, let's just finish this mission. Pretty easy to beat these first these first levels. It's mostly just an introduction for new players so that they learn how, they learn the game mechanics, how to control the cards, what sacrifice phases, and stuff like that. Was pretty easy. Let's just skip the dialogue for now. So making progress on the daily quests already. Let's actually go take a look what those quests are. Four wins. That's going to be pretty easy. I already got one. Hero abilities. Use a hero ability five times. That's going to be hard because <laughs> with the corrupted angel in play, I can't actually use my hero ability. Summon five weapons. Okay, got a weapon. Let's just play one more mission and then I'll fix those highlights. We have two allies in play, and I have to take care of those pretty quick.
There's my weapon, so I'm gonna try to cast that weapon just because it'll complete it'll work on completing the daily quest. It's gonna take a while, so I'm gonna freeze it first. It's frozen, can't attack, defend, or use abilities. So I'm gonna attack it, it's not gonna be able to defend. So I can kill it off next turn. So that bear, I can't kill it, so I'm gonna have a protector. That means if it wants to attack these allies, it's gonna have to go through her first. Actually, I could kill it, I have six now. Yeah, let's just kill it then. I'm gonna get turn six anyway. Alright, that pink is really annoying me, so I'm going to have to fix it right now. <laughs> so we're going to go into a quick detour. Reach level 2, making progress. I'm going to do a quick detour and fix that problem. Let me just switch. I'm just loading up my Unity editor here. Oh, I should mention that I got uh, extra shadow crystals by going to shadowware.com slash bonus. Um, there's always a bonus there. Uh, currently it's the Halloween bonus. You can get between 200 and 400 shadow crystals. Now, a uh, new class deck only costs about... 50, I believe. 200. Yep, so I could buy any of these for 200. So just by going to shadowair.com slash bonus, I'd have enough to start a new class. We'll probably do that in the next time I do a hero spotlight. But for now, new players, it's easier just to do the complimentary class hero. Let me switch to Unity. Let me try to figure out what's going on with that red. I can. I think I might have accidentally modified something that it needed, like particles. Probably needed this on. That might have been the problem. Would be as simple as that. Let me just see. Step on off. Okay, I'm gonna play in the editor for a second. Just close the existing game. I'm gonna double sound. Let me play a quick game and see what's wrong with the uh, targeting highlights.
Oh, what's the key combination for pause? Control Shift P. In the Unity Editor, let me press Control Shift P. Pause the game. I can get to the bottom of this. What is happening with the targeting? This material looks like it's different. The dust is okay. That's interesting. So not because of that. So this, the particles are just for the outline. That's what we sort of were working on yesterday. But for some reason, this targeting got changed. Not, honestly, I'm not sure what could have done that in between a few days it might just be I don't know what going on. it's a mystery <laughs> and it also looks different currently than what it does when i did the build when i did the build it's just completely pink Trying to think of what else I might have changed. Mm. Could definitely be the lighting. Because I remember I did drag in all the terrain and stuff to the gameplay scene, but I didn't save it, so I'm not sure why that would modify it so i probably won't be able to actually adjust that today because i can't quickly debug it and find out what exactly is going wrong here turn off highlights or turn off shadows Can't immediately see what could possibly be going wrong. We're just gonna have to live with it for today's stream at least. We can go back to the game. Question in chat about the live stream. 
in the game this is the the live stream schedule that's actually in the game yes currently it's wednesday uh, 8 to 10 p.m so we're doing hero spotlights didn't open up my chest today let's go ahead and do that Not exactly a card I need right now, but maybe I will in the future. I have to defeat all these allies. I could do it even with the purple. <laughs> They're the pink targeting lines. It'll drive me crazy, but I can survive for one day. So it's definitely going to be a different deck. Vitalis is kind of hard because he has high health and if I'm damaged then he gets a buff of plus one. Mm. I don't think I want to waste this yet. It's also low cost, so we two. I'll just do that. There's not many cards, so I don't have to worry too much. Just a little bit of control, and I'll be fine. those bears again. So they're tricky because you have to watch out. You don't realize that they're gonna get plus two attack. If it's plus four or less. So this, he'll be able to kill this if I'm not careful. left. It's going to be pretty easy. So not expecting that spider. Expected a jump. We're getting towards our goal there. Let's just keep going through the early missions. Okay, we actually are playing against another hero now. Corrupted Angel alive at all costs because Zalador has a pretty nasty ability. Two targets will take three damage. I want to avoid that if I can.
Oh, still a fireball. Not much challenge in these first few missions. Hero abilities, can't do that yet. Summon weapons, okay. dangerous as well they're gonna buff each other so if he has some more and they're also very low cost Uh, that reminds me on Saturday is going to be the boss battle day. I'm sort of famous for having a deck with like 20 sparks in it. So if you want to play me on Saturday, boss battle. So I might just skip one here, just in case there's some more spiders. Yep, I'll skip. I think I pretty much got it in the bag now.
Well done. Again, that was pretty easy. And by the sixth one, I think we're going to start to have a bit more challenge. Yep. Nothing in play that's going to be a completely different vibe. So, you might want to hang on to this just to put on the hero. Oh, now that he has Blood Frenzy, he's going to start taking damage, but he's going to draw an extra card. And I'm quickly running out of cards. Um, Doesn't have much chance even with that big guy. I actually missed that. That was an easy battle. Just plowing through it so far. Okay, so I'm actually in a bad spot. There you have a card on the board. I'm going to want to web it right away. I cast this, it's just going to be killed. I guess I don't have to worry about the tree top spider attack. So here again, I have to play defensive. I'm going to probably retreat that just to make them waste resources next turn to bring it back. Oh no. And suddenly the game is challenging. <laughs> Not too much, but let's see. So the good thing, now Aladdin can use her control ability. It's like a built-in freeze plus damage. Four damage. That's pretty pretty high every four turns. He has a weapon. I still can't cast this guy because he'll be killed by the hero. But this guy will be fine. Still kind of trying to claw my way back. 
And that's going to hurt as well. I have no way to deal with that yet. I'm running out of cards, so I kind of don't want to sacrifice right now. I'm going to do a combo here. Do the lightning first. And then attack. I had to get rid of that because it had such high attack. Even though now I'm on fire and I'm going to take one damage each turn. It's worth it. Definitely need to start getting board control. I don't want to skip because he has six already. I'm going to sacrifice. Because I'm going to play both of these. This guy's probably gonna get killed next turn, but at least it'll take out this weapon. That was actually a really smart play. <laughs> Two allies and damage, and he cast the weapon again, and a poison arrow. They both have no cards in hand. I have to cast that. At least I'll make progress on the mission. Disabled, so I can't do anything right this turn. It's actually getting kind of close here. I'm a little bit worried. I did two damage, but then I'm gonna take one back. And poison. So Jasmine's not gonna last very long. At least I can freeze this guy now. gonna die anyway so I might as well finish this uh... that's not too bad I think I'm gonna make a comeback <laughs> that was unfortunate. So luckily this guy has ambush. That means that they can't defend against him. So I'm going to be able to do two and he's not going to do any damage back. I can finish him off. Do I want a fireball? Well, we'll see, but I don't know what he's got coming. That's okay.
Making a comeback slowly anyways. I do have this weapon, but it says I can't attack, so it's sort of a defensive weapon, I guess. I think I managed to pull off a win here. Definitely getting a bit harder. Progress. Let's continue on. Dark ball. Okay, the initial setup is going to be a little bit different here. Hopefully that there's no low-cost allies in this game. cards to play right now. I could web him and sort of just delay. I also don't have much resources. Let's kill him. Maybe I'll just do this. And I get fireball to the face. What I was afraid of. I do not have any item destruction. I don't. Mm. It's so tough right now. Do I want to waste this or hold on to it? Also, be wasting a whole turn with five resources. Let's just use it. That's gonna wear me down. to deal with this. I can't do both unless I sacrifice one.
be bad. And this side say this is back up. Just gonna keep on wearing me down with my weapon of this. There we go. This help. I can make a comeback. Really hurting for some draw. I also could wear him down. Sandworm, of course, reduces the damage, so he's not going to be able to damage me back. these control. I wonder if I can just be uh, more allies is what I need. Can I save this or just use it? Let's just use it I guess. Let's freeze that guy. He's putting up a fight. Don't count him out yet. I have to be careful to control his allies. Gotta save that for a bit. <laughs> All right, making more progress. Use abilities, pass weapons, and reach level three. But four hundred shadow crystals now, so we can buy two new class decks. So that's the thing with shadow airs. You really want to switch up your heroes as often as possible. Because you can play through the campaign and, and each hero will level up and you get more shadow crystals. Right off the bat, he's getting his draw engine in place. I have to remember we're playing with Grave Bones, so he likes to return his allies from the grave. So we'll, we have to be careful about that. It's usually a good idea to control them rather than to pull them outright. So I'm gonna hang on to all my control cards. This ally has stealth, so I can't attack it directly, but of course it can still be targeted by something like a fireball. Of course I'm not going to waste a fireball on it, it just has one attack. 
I'm just gonna put the cut egg on the right. <laughs> I do have my protector there, so this guy's safe at least for now. So the protector protects against targeting, not just attacking. So when we cast the web, we sort of had no choice but to cast it on the protector. But it kind of didn't have any effect because I already had zero attack, so I wasn't going to attack. Maybe I can improve the AI a bit in, in terms of the targeting so the AI won't web something that's not going to attack anyway. It also has no abilities to use. So a slight error there by the AI. I have a lot of control. I might keep these two. So this, I don't want to kill that because you can bring it back. We get to play. Okay, here we go. Let me think about this now. With four, I can retreat one and web the other. I also kind of want to get this guy into play because he has three damage. I can also kill one and he's going to just bring it back, but at least it'll give me a turn. Okay, I'm gonna skip. I'm gonna kill this guy. I'm gonna retreat this guy to make him waste the resources again next time. I get some more attack on the board. I think the game's gonna be wrapped up pretty soon. Oh no! It's like my worst nightmare. Definitely gonna whip him. should have just taken out this ally and then got rid of protector so that the next turn could have start healing these guys but it, I'm sure it knew that it was going to die the next turn anyway so it didn't make a difference in terms of the overall score of the game the outcome there we go we're making progress What is the other issue? So the weapons. So I have to summon two more weapons. So playing against the hunter, they like to use traps, it's direct damage. Not sure if they have a lot of allies, so we probably won't be needing much control this time. It's always a debate if you should disable it or Gonna retreat. Yeah. 
little ahead of me. Now I can disable him. So he has ambush, so he's gonna attack my ally and I can't do anything back. If I wait one turn, I could start taking him out with the heal ability. It's a trap. There's two resources, so it's probably a net trap. So I could cast these two. Let's let this go. Okay. Mm. I don't want to use up all four resources, so I don't know about the net trap. <laughs> I totally forgot. So the order that I cast those made a big difference. I think that's okay. But he can also start using his ability. Loves to use those arrows. There we go. This guy's already back. Can kill it with the ability, I'll probably do that. Better look at this arm. An opposing ally has killed your hero heals two damage. So I really don't want him to kill my allies, but his ability reduces it to one. One more turn remaining. This is one turn. It's a good time to retreat at nice five cost. See, retreat is only cost two, but he's got to retreat him and then he'll have to pay five again the next turn. that armor before any of my allies get killed. He's able to heal health. But this guy's gonna die. Whew. That was a pretty good move. Four damage. But it's reduced by two, so my ability is only going to do two damage. That's going to be frozen for two turns. I want to get to pay. Freeze it for three turns. I think I'm just going to freeze this ability. And I can get another ally on board. And finally, take out that armor.
Well, that ally has ambush when that ally deals combat damage. Draw a card. That's gonna take effect pretty soon. Again, I don't know if I should. It's damage reduced by two. Can attack. So this guy's not even gonna scratch him. Oh, that's gonna be a problem pretty soon. Only one turn remaining, that is freeze. We got lucky there. Now, I can at least do the three damage. Get rid of that prize attack. Maybe I should just freeze that guy. So, I'm doing good. It's been definitely a battle just to get this far. But I think I'm starting to get control of the board now. I need to cast that weapon just for the, <laughs> the daily quest. There we go. As long as this guy stays around. There we go. Finally. So that was pretty good. One more weapon left. Campaign chest, alright. Cover of night. When the allies have stealth, they can't be attacked. That's actually pretty good. Cost of three though, so you have to have more than a few allies for it to be worth it. So I put 10 stars already and I unlock the next map. Let's see if it's any more of a challenge. So playing against the warrior. Boris just outright kills anybody with cost 4 or less, which is most of my guys. I don't ever seem to use this. Destruction playing against the warrior. Obviously, they, love, they like to use armor or weapons, items like this. I think I lucked out there. I should save it if he has like an ally coming. I 
Okay, I'm gonna be in trouble. I really need some control here, but I also need these allies. To do what to do. Three turns. I wonder if I want to do this as well or just wait a bit. Is there a wait? No. Extra sharp and more banner. We need one turn of waiting. Oops. Let's see if I can use this thing and get rid of it. Just because it's boxed so much that I want to get rid of it. Next turn, I'll be able to use it again anywhere. Wow. That's the. I was wondering why the, the AI was sort of saving cards. And it's because they've been increasing their resources and now they're gonna be putting out the fatties against me. Such high health. I think I should buy some time. I could start whittling away. Even do the move, that would hurt me. Let's just leave it like that. Oh, I keep forgetting that ability. See, now I might be in trouble. Damage is reduced by two, so this will do two damage to it. This won't even scratch it. How am I going to get rid of this? Of course I could freeze it for two turns. This still has two turns frozen. So to freeze it. Control is fine, but eventually you need to have <laughs> some Need to kill that stuff. Because it's going to be a problem very soon. One turn remaining, one turn remaining. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, I can delay with this. I'm in trouble. Wake up next to Man. All oh, this ability reduces attack to zero. I could do this first. That's because he has ambush. And I can kill him. It's one problem going. These guys are a huge problem. Get 
we really want allies not being able to attack. He's probably going to kill this guy or this guy. That's what two of them. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to do it. Got more health. Oh man. We don't know it's a 22. We don't have any attachment removal. Okay, so if I do this, let's kill this guy now. It can distract him, so he won't attack me at least. It's like mini control. <laughs> oh, that ability, I keep forgetting. Oh, that hurts. Why is he a fireball? So I can finally. You can even kill that guy, it's just going to take two damage. Then, three attack, at least one. Alright. This is getting harder. God, rampage this. Poison ally is killed, heals 2 damage. So now he has a built in healing. A little bit cautiously optimistic. We didn't do anything that turn, I wonder why not. What could he possibly have? Unless they just kind of give up. <laughs> I know there is code in the game to go E and Z on low level players, just so that they don't feel like the game is too hard. I might have to revisit that, or if it knows that it's going to lose in like two times, I'm going to give up. Just to make it sort of faster, they don't concede, but at least the AI will just skip its turn pretty much. Okay. I feel like I'm doing pretty good, for, at least in the campaign. Hunter again, so traps, poison arrow stuff. So target weapon in your hand is summoned at no cost and gains plus one base attack. But I have no item destruction. Treat it and then draw a card. 
don't want to take what damage I could damn I could freeze it with this for two turns. Then I could give it with this. Not too bad, I guess. It's a trap to cost the net. She's just gonna be netted. Could do this and draw a card. Turns around. It's right. <laughs> Tomorrow's a dev day, I'm gonna look into Bedu's AI logic and see if we can know what's going on with the AI. This is another problem card. Damage reduced by one. It's four health. I could freeze it but not kill it. So now it says one turn and two Luckily, he takes one less damage from abilities. So he's not gonna take any damage from that poison. But it's uh, poison arrow anyway, the ability. He will take damage from the poison effect. So I think I'm gonna go with the sandworm or the draw card. At least I have a draw engine this game. It's another interesting choice. So there's durability when it defends. More of a defensive weapon that we attack with it just for one day or for two damage. Okay. 
Actually, I have lots of resources. Let's just trade it. Attack on his part got rid of that card. Definitely don't want this. Let's go all out. It's a pretty easy win. 24 health left. Are making great progress at least with the single stars. Um, let's go back and try to do some two stars now. These ones are pretty easy. I'm gonna earn a lot of gold to level up my hero, start working on that second chest. It's just gonna wear down my computer. Ugh. Maybe at least three though. I don't really have to do that. It's like it's pretty safe to say this gate is one. These bears. It's hard to kill something that has five health. Guess I can retreat it. Spiders. Hate those spiders. Skip this time. <laughs> if 
I got to actually cast it down. one already obviously the earlier missions are easier Doing pretty good at collecting these stars. Let's keep doing the normal now. I don't think I've ever used this. <laughs> In reverse, mm -hmm. but oh, that doesn't really make a difference.
Still no problem. Bears, it might start to be a problem. Collecting that gold. Another star. Okay, I did. I completed all the missions, so I got my extra 25 shadow crystals. Let's keep doing the two stars. It's not looking too bad so far. Just have to tame this awesome fort trap. So many allies very early in the game, the low cost allies. It's almost like a mage rush of the deck, so I don't think he has any chance. It was a pretty quick game. One minute forty seven seconds, not bad. Keep getting these two stars. Oh, it's 
So this guy really likes to buff his own allies. Plus one base attack and plus three health. Luckily my corrupted angel means that he's not gonna be able to use that ability. I think I already have enough of a lead to counter anything that he can throw at me by now. This guy, because he has an ambush, kind of build brutalis without that one damage. There's the spiders again. So I'm gonna skip. Not looking good for them. We have a lot of allies. Plus two attack when there's two or more, and I have two of them. That's really gonna kill this guy, so. Boom. Got me to level four. Wait, notice I'm doing progressing through the game a lot quicker today than the first uh, hero spotlight. I'm already level four. Just keep doing a few more missions. And we have a lot of gold. Maybe we'll look into getting some more low cost allies and sort of do a mage rush. Seems to be working pretty good, at least against the AI. Not sure if I should waste it on just this guy. Let's see that. the ability but better off just ignoring them for now.
Probably should take out the bear. I'm gonna still save this. I don't know what he has coming up. Oh, there's another bear. That's not too bad. He is wearing me down. I'm gonna use it now. Yeah. And eventually use his ability to kill this guy. I didn't want to attack. But do I do this or not? 13 cards. It's not too much of a threat. I'm not sure if the AI. Honestly, I would kill this guy. But I should use his weapon to kill him anyway. I don't know what he has coming. Even if I freeze both of them, he's gonna use his weapon to kill this guy and cast something new. Yeah, he's gonna say what. Definitely want to finish that guy. It's my ability. My ability and that. This is a weapon, but I think it's actually getting pretty close. I think I was a bit careless, a bit overconfident this, this match. Much control and nothing to control. That was a smart choice because I don't die the next turn. But that was a bad choice because it was gonna die the next turn. So that was interesting. So flaming arrow takes two damage instead of blades. This was already on fire, gonna die the next turn. And still killed it. say this because it's gonna bring something else out. This one damage you can kill this guy, so I'm not gonna let that happen. You it. It is getting down to the wire here. <laughs> I need to have two turns remaining. I really need. 
in theory I could win next turn. Yep. There goes my win chance. <laughs> that was just the pure luck on his part, but also luck that I got this. And I just barely managed. Things are definitely getting more challenging. I think we have time. One more to star against a warrior. So let me just make a quick tweak to my deck. Some cards I never end up using. This is kind of high cost. I really like a lot of low cost. So instead of these high cost things, I add some more low cost. And item destruction. That's really good. Just save that just in case. More quality might be good. Against the Dava uh, uh, the Warrior. Let's try that. So just a little tweak because they know I'm gonna fight a warrior. Where's the warrior? This it's actually one six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This early draw is gonna actually hurt me a lot. Each turn he takes one damage, but he draws a card. It actually amplify the damage that he's gonna take if I put these two on. So I'm gonna try to save those. I'll try at least. There's those spiders again. Last time the damage adds up over time, and plus they can just kill this guy. Don't have enough to get rid of both of them. I can. Uh, it's too much. Okay, I can get rid of these two here. So four ice damage. This guy's dead no matter what, so I might as well. A hero. I need more allies. The way of controlling these guys, so you're killing them because I can't attack them, so I'm just gonna kill one of them. skip my sacrifice but I need all these cards I really do most important is to control this guy
Do I want to heal him for three and go right for the hero? I think I need to get rid of this. Uh oh. Oh boy. We have no control left. up to two already. This is for I can't leave that. <laughs> Nicely done. That was strategic. But that hurt me. Mm. At this point, it's almost not even worth casting this. Sky, obviously. I can kill it now. Five. Who's that guy? I don't want to save it. I'm so scared of that guy. I just have to kill it. Two damage. Do I want to freeze it or do I want to give one damage every turn? I think this is going to add up. Whoa, bringing out the big guns. Luckily I saved that, because I need it again. Definitely need it. Okay, so I can buff this guy with health. Because three attacks pretty good. Don't want to take that damage back to read to the heroes. It's going to be pretty powerful. This guy's going to wake up in three turns. I have to deal with it. Oh my god. I am in so much trouble right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This has the ability three resources, it'll take four or five damage. Sorry, four. Oh my god. I have to do something immediately, like kill you know that for sure. The better to use it on right? Oh, it's it so much trouble. It's also out of cards, but I'll never survive. Is that a third one? Oh my goodness. 
bit of luck anywhere. Definitely not enough luck if I only had one more shadow energy. I have to kill this, I have no choice, or I could distract it. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So I do have a choice. Now the choice is do five damage. I'll take four. <laughs> and then I have a chance to do five more plus blaze plus Am I doing the math right? No, this will attack next turn. I don't know if I did the math right. <laughs> oh no, I can still use abilities! Ah! Oh. He couldn't attack, but he could still use abilities, and I lost. I was so close, so close. Well, I hate to end it on such a bad note. Defeat. But that's about all the time we have for today. Tomorrow, of course, is a dev day. I have my work cut out for me. Um, I asked in the chat what people wanted to see improved, some quality of life improvements. A lot of people mentioned stuff with the deck builder. So we're probably going to take a look at how we can improve the deck builder. And that'll be tomorrow's stream. Thanks, guys, for watching. See you next time.